now we are going to discuss about the time period of a spring and a block system okay so this is simple again it's not like the previous one i'll just ask you some basic questions you people answer and you will get the time period in no time it's simple third scenario okay so there is a spring okay which is connected to a ceiling and it is lit a spring will have a length associated which is called as the natural length right now when you suspend a block to us to the spring what will happen when a block is suspended to the spring you tell me what will happen to the spring will the spring experience a pulling force or a pushing force in the vertical direction is my question clear so when i take a block and connect it across the spring at the bottom will the spring experience a pulling force or a pushing force in the vertical direction vertical in this direction can we pull sir we will not pull you will just connect the block and leave you will remove your you will just let's say there is a small magnet here you are going to connect a block and you will remove your hand that's it what will the block actually do pull the spring sir pull the spring so it is a pulling force so pulling force will always cause an elongation right so there is going to be some elongation when i say elongation the wind the distance between the consecutive windings is going to increase so if i take the bottom of the springs natural length to be the reference can i say there is going to be an elongation x not is there going to be some elongation let me call it as x not so when is the elongation going to stop is it going to be a continuous process will the spring get elongated till infinite length obviously no right so when will it stop when the weight of the block that is suspended exactly matches with whom if it exactly matches with the restoring force that is experience uh, that is uh, produced by the spring of value how much k times x not guys are you able to understand this so when mg is equal to k x not i can say the elongation stops that is the spring has got elongated till a particular value okay now what will happen if i apply an additional force in the direction of mg and release it if i apply an additional force in this direction that is to the already existing mg if i add if i if i pull it with my hand in the downward direction what do you think will happen to the spring now guys are you there it will expand more it will get expand more expanded more but there will be something else also that will happen what is it it will expand more that is right this is the natural length this x not so from x not if i try to pull it to a very small distance x and release it it will start experiencing a restoring force of how much value now k of x not plus x very good it will experience k into x not but the second scenario told me that the balancing will take place only if there is a restoring force of how much value 
the spring and the block is under a balanced scenario when the restoring force acting is how much value k x not when the value has increased from k x not to k x not plus x can i say that there is some unbalanced extra there is some extra unbalanced force that is acting on this object what is the extra unbalanced force that is acting on the object the extra unbalanced force came because of the extra elongation that we gave compared to its balance length correct huh? so guys are you able to understand so due to this due what i'm trying to say is naturally what happened if it is only the spring and the block system that is like how it happened in the case number 2 when i just connected the block and left it the block brought the spring to such an extent and tried to balance under what scenario mathematically when the weight of the block was exactly equal to the restoring force so the block elongated the spring by distance of x not compared to its original length right after that the system came to equilibrium there was no disturbance but what did i do to that i created a small disturbance by elongating it even more so for, with respect to x not i elongated it even more by distance of how much value by distance x small x and i removed my hand so what happened is mg is still acting but my hand is removed so what will be the restoring force k x not plus x is what is going to act in the third scenario but what is the counter force that is acting to the same to x not plus x it is only mg will this mg be able to balance the restoring force no because mg can balance only when the value is k to x not now it is not k to x not anymore it is k to x not plus x so it will not be able to balance due to which what will happen is the spring and the block system will start oscillating does it make sense oscillating in the sense this restoring force will the restoring force also can't stop the object exactly you can't stop the block exactly here it will get compressed after getting compressed again it will come back in the reverse direction so it will start oscillating so once it starts oscillating it will have a time period associated with it and our work is to calculate what is that value of time period Did yes, you understand yes. the okay. got it right yes sir yeah so that is the whole physics behind the oscillation of the spring and the block system now our job is simple see mathematical part in this case is very simple look at the way i'm going to write k into x not plus x which is acting in the so for wherever it is restoring i'm going to use a minus sign okay okay i'll, I'll write it like this the net force on the block and spring system one net net force on block and spring system under what scenario in case 3 is given by what can i write it as k into x not plus x minus mg is equal to minus m into a i wrote a minus m into a here because it's a restoring force try to understand this k into x not plus x is acting in the upward direction mg is acting in the downward direction acceleration will take place towards the mean position so since it's a restoring force i added a minus sign okay so when i expand it k x not plus k x minus mg is equal to minus m a but what is the value of kx not mathematically equal to but we know that kx not is how much mg which implies k 
kx0 and kx0 will get cancelled kx will be equal to minus ma which implies a is equal to how much guys minus k divided by m minus k divided by m into x let me know if there is any doubt in this step minus kx divided by m correct huh? so once you get acceleration in terms of displacement what are we supposed to do compare minus kx by m with whom minus omega square x with minus omega square x so once i do that what is the value of omega square that i'm going to get omega square will be equal to k by m so what is the value of omega root of k by m but omega is 2 pi by t is equal to root of k by m then what will be the value of t guys t will be equal to 2 pi root of m divided by k got it so this is the time period of a spring and a block system so here the contribution of spring is spring constant the contribution of block is its mass